It wasn't too long ago when the International Criminal Court in The Hague celebrated its 20th anniversary. For some, it has achieved a measure of justice for victims of war crimes and genocide when national jurisdictions were unable or unwilling to do so. But the United States regards the court's mandate as dangerous to its sovereignty. Washington has been a longtime critic of the ICC, but it is now threatening action following the chief prosecutor's decision to investigate alleged war crimes and detainee abuse by U.S. forces in Afghanistan, as well as Israeli actions against Palestinians. If a powerful uh, state like the U.S. bullies the court, then smaller states, weaker states, might be, might be feeling less inclined to support the court. John Bolton, the U.S. National Security Advisor, tried to undermine the court when he was serving in the George W. Bush administration. But on Monday, his latest attack included a threat to go after ICC officials. The United States will use any means necessary to protect our citizens and those of our allies from unjust prosecution by this illegitimate court. Some fear support for international justice for the millions of victims and survivors is at risk. Political support for the court, they say, has diminished in recent years. And the U.S. campaign against it will only make it worse. The court uh, depends on the support of states for its money, for its arrest warrants. For the court to investigate a case, it requires a request from the state in question or a referral by the UN Security Council. But world powers like Russia, China and the US are not members of the ICC and they have veto power in the council. The prosecutor, however, can also open a case if the court's judges give authorization. The Trump administration is threatening to curb what it calls the court's sweeping powers. Some human rights activists are accusing the U.S. of double standards and of using the court as a political instrument to serve its own interests. For example, in 2011, the United States voted at the U.N. Security Council to refer Libya to the ICC after alleged war crimes by Muammar Gaddafi's government. The ICC is reiterating its commitment to what it describes as its independent and impartial mandate. It hasn't yet officially responded to the U.S. threats and whether they will affect plans to investigate and prosecute the Afghanistan case and address the situation in Palestine. This statement by Bolton certainly is uh, an attempt to instill fear in the court and to instill fear in human rights defenders working with the court. We believe that the Office of the Prosecutor is going to remain firm and unwavering in her loyalty to the Rome Statute. We are putting our trust in her. The ICC will do what it can to continue its work, but in many ways the court is hostage to the political will and cooperation of the international community. Zena Khudr Al Jazeera, The Hague.